Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you the segmentation feature in Epic Spider and explain why it completely changes your usual workflow with crawling results. Let's start! Segment is an upgraded filter. This feature allows you not only separate a certain group of pages in the tables, for example those with missing or empty description, but also dig deeper into all problems of this group. After applying a segment, all program reports will be updated according to the specified criteria. Segments affect dashboard, tables, and sidebar reports. But also, sitemap and all export options will be generated only for the current segment. Do you remember how to set up a filter? It's just the same for segments. All you need is to set up necessary conditions. For example, I want to see all pages with more than 15 incoming links and I want to exclude all pages that responded with status code that is different from 200 OK. Yep. OK. And I can see that almost 2% of pages uh, meet my uh, conditions. So now when we know what a segment is, Let's go further and I will show you the real examples how you can use it so you can understand its advantages better. The first idea that comes to mind is to use sidebar reports as segment conditions. And actually, it may be pretty useful. For example, you can quickly find out which part of your website has the highest amount of critical issues. To do so, Apply filter that will show you all pages with errors as a segment. And I would also recommend adding another condition here that will show you only pages that are internal and combine two conditions with AND logic. Then switch to Site Structure tab, collapse all results, and you can see that 73% with issues of high severity located in form subdomains. Or vice versa, apply specific subdomain or folder as a segment and switch to Issues tab. Thus, you can quickly find the most widespread problems of specific subdomain or folder. It may help you when prioritizing your work with the big websites and save your time. The most frequent segmentation case in my experience is getting scraping report for specific pages. For example, after crawling e-commerce website, I want to get product details only for pages where I have found any reviews. To do so, I apply corresponding filter as a segment and open scraping report. Here I will see a well-structured table without any unnecessary pages. In the same way, you can take a closer look at pages where a program couldn't find SEO text or Google Analytics tracking code for some reason, maybe because JavaScript file was broken or the server couldn't handle high load. Before digging further into segmentation feature, I would like to remind you that you can ask any questions in comments below or during an online demonstration of our tools that you can book following a link in the video description. My colleague will show you all the features of our tools and answer all questions personally. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be happy to see you clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. Another noteworthy feature of segments is multi-level filtering. Let me show you it on a real example. If you want to get a list of pages with the word mirrorless or digital in either description or title tags, you can do it with a simple filter with regex matching. But if you want all of them to respond with 200 OK status code, that's when segments come into play. To get this report, first apply segment with description and title conditions, and then go to URL Explorer and set filter that will include only pages with status code exactly matching 200 OK value. And it's the unique report that you can get using only segmentation feature. And I want to say that segments directly affects each report you export from the tool. 
Thus, you can get an audit of, the, of optimization quality or any other option here, literally for every folder or subdomain of your website. Let's recap the main segmentation advantages. First of all, it helps you focus on a specific problem of your website or its directory. It may come in handy if some parts of your website has higher priority in your optimization process. Then inspect your website with unusual segments to find hidden insights. This approach may represent crawling data in a completely different point of view. And of course, give multi-level filtering a try. I bet you couldn't set filters to such extent before. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would be happy to see you hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. And of course, if you have any questions, ask them in comments below or during an online demonstration that you can book following the link in the video description. I wish you a good day, a lot of traffic and a great rankings. Bye-bye.